Hi, my name is Dino Kamar Singha. I'm a professional rugby player. I represent Sri Lanka in both 7s and 15s. I'm also a, a member of Havelock Sports Club in the local club arena. I'm also the SciTech Nutrition Athlete for Sri Lanka. So today you're here to see what I do for training on a regular basis. I have been training since college, so back in school our strength and conditioning coach was Anuj Malavarachi. So with him that was way back in 2015. So since then I would say to present I have been training. I do not usually stick to a specific diet, but I believe in having things in moderation. So if I tend to eat something sweet, I would make sure that I come back the following day and burn it out. So you have to live as well, so you got to enjoy life. So having uh, something sweet or maybe a pizza once in a while is all right, but uh, making sure that you put in the work afterwards is what matters. Well, when it comes to rugby, uh, it requires various uh, attributes for the demands of the game. So I make sure I uh, train in all sections, that it may be speed, endurance, strength and conditioning, functional fitness, rugby-related fitness. So I just work on my weaknesses and also make sure to better myself each day and improve where I'm weak on. So if it's endurance, I make sure I run. So whatever that is related to rugby, I uh, work on it. These days, of course, I do not have a workout body per se, but uh, I train at the club, so the boys of Havelox are my training buddies. So I usually train twice a day. So the morning hours would be my individual work. So I work on my weaknesses and try to improve my strengths. So the evenings would be mostly team-based training. So I would say a ground session or a gym session with the team. Uh, so this is basically the extent I try to push myself when it comes to training. So what inspired me to get into training would be rugby. So keeping up to the demands of the sport I made sure I push myself each and every day to uh, better myself. So eventually fitness became a part of my life. Well, nutrition basically plays a key role when it comes to performance and to help you to perform in the highest level. So whatever you put into your body is basically what you use and which is something what helps with your recovery as well. So like I said earlier, I believe in having things in moderation, but uh, once in a while I go on a fast with a liquid diet. So that simply uh, helps me to reset and recover my system. Well, lazy days are not that quite often when it comes to my training, but uh, then again, what I believe in is, it is you versus you. So you need to find your motivation to get yourself up and hit the gym or maybe hit your ground session, you know, push yourself to be better each day. But then again, I would say I would have my lazy days as well, but they aren't that often, so. Well, the biggest mistakes people make at the gym, I would say is basically um, not focusing on their form. So technique is key, that is something I believe in. So keeping your form, your technique, your composure right is what is going to give you results. But uh, you know, uh, without any form or technique, if you try to lift heavy, you know, you would just injure yourself. So it's best to properly get yourself with the proper technique and then move forward gradually by increasing the weight. So it's a process, like I said earlier as well. So it takes time. So just make sure to uh, focus on your technique and your form when it comes to training. Well, I would say to just start and the rest will follow. So when you start, uh, you automatically take action towards training regularly. So when you train regularly, you see results through your consistency. 
So that eventually will help you to get yourself motivated to be better each day. So that, that, that is basically a process. So it takes time. So you have to make sure that you work on yourself and also work on what you believe in. But also always remember to enjoy what you do because that is the key, you know. If you do something without enjoying it, it, it is basically you wasting your own time. So make sure to enjoy what you do and then you will be able to see results quicker and also, in the day, enjoy a good session and feel good about it and stay healthy and fit. So it is a process, it takes time, so believe in the process. Before I hit the gym for my workout, I warm up myself in the grounds here. So I'm gonna work on some dynamic stretching and then do a little bit of speed drills and then hit the gym. So let's go and see what I do for my warm up. So um, that was the warm-up session, so dynamic movements, a little bit of mobility into it. So next we're going to head for some speed drills, so let's just check it out. Hi guys, so this is where I work out. This is the Havelock Sports Club gym. So today I'll be working on some strength and power. So basically it's more rugby specific kind of workout. So let's go. So usually before a workout, I would uh, have my intro workout. So that's basically caffeine and glutamine. So that too is a Cytec product, which I'm using these days. So let's head to the first exercise, that is power cleans. So I'm gonna do some power cleans and superset that with some box jumps. So we're gonna do three sets of power cleans and box jumps. So let's get to it. So uh, this was my first exercise which I did just now, the power cleans, great, great exercise for building power, explosive power. So next I'm going to superset that with some plyometrics, so that is box jumps, so let's get to it. So this is the box jump, so we're going to do about 5 to 8 reps in between that range, so for 3 sets of that. So let's So this is a great exercise for a full body workout as well. So this basically helps with your explosive power on the field when it comes to speed. So a great exercise to go ahead when considering being a rugby player. So this is going to be the last set of this super set. So gradually whilst doing this, you can increase the weight as well. So I'm gonna stick to the same weight and uh, let's go for the final round. So that was the end of the first set. So next we're gonna move on to some banded squat. So this is the second exercise for the day, banded squats. So I'm gonna use the K-band for this. And uh, we're gonna go for three sets. So let's hit it. So this was uh, the first set. So basically doing banded squats uh, help increase bodily awareness and also forms a connection between the mind and the muscle. So this basically helps you 
to do a squat in proper form yeah, and work through it. So it also activates your glutes and uh, also helps you with a good hip drive as well. So got two more sets of this and then we can move on to the next exercise. Okay, so that's done and we can move on to the next exercise. That is elevated single leg squat. So this right here is the elevated uh, single leg squat. So which I'm gonna do with the same weight. So I'll be standing up on a platform with plates and then with the weight itself, I will be using my core to tighten and keep my body stable and then give a small touch with my left foot ankle and make sure I stabilize my knee when I'm doing this exercise. So a great exercise basically for knee strength and knee mobility. So let's hit it and let's see how it goes. So this exercise basically is a great strengthening exercise for your glutes and quads. So this is also an amazing exercise for athletes, for sportsmen. This also helps improve your hip, your glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves, and also keeps your core engaged. So this basically is one of my favorite exercises as well. So let's go for the second set. This is also a great exercise for a good healthy knee. So it helps you to have and increase your mobility in your knee as well. So when it comes to a sport like rugby, keeping your knees healthy and strong is a must. So I make sure to add this exercise to my daily routine. So now I'm done with my uh, elevated single leg squats. So I'm moving into my third exercise, that is Jefferson Curl. So let's go. So my next exercise is going to be Jefferson curls. So I'm going to hit three sets of this, eight to 10 reps, more controlled reps. And I'll be focusing on my form when it comes to this exercise. So let's get to it. An amazing exercise. My posterior chain feels great. So. I'm done with uh, Jefferson curse, so I'm going to move into my final exercise. That is uh, banded deadlifts. So let's go. So I'm just setting in the band for the banded deadlift. So I'm going to go with a low weight. So let's say 40 to 50% of the weight. And I'm going to work on some control movements. So I'll be going for a tempo, tempo movement. So it'll be four seconds slow down and fast up uh, into about 10 to eight reps. So let's uh, hit the final exercise and see how it goes. So that was banded deadlift. A great movement also helps with your hip mobility. So when you go down on your usual deadlifts, Make sure to power through, drive your hips, and keep the composure, the form, tighten your core, and have a good movement coming up. So I got about two more sets of this, and then I'm done for the day. So that was the final set, and I'm done for the day. So it was a good, low body workout and now I'm going to head out for my post workout meal and recovery session. Hi guys, so today we are at Mi Colombo. So this is where I'll be having my post-workout meal and my recovery as well. So come on in guys. Hi 
Hi guys, so after the gym session I come to meet Colombo for my post recovery. So then after my recovery here in the pool, I will head down for my first workout meal. So I'm going to get into the pool and do some stretching and uh, just relax a bit and then head down for my meal. So I'm going to go have a quick change and then get into the pool. Hi, how are you? Doing well, thanks for asking. So, um, today, let me just go through the menu. So today I will have uh, the Caesar salad and also um, the seared sear fish. Yeah, and also I'll have uh, a mango smoothie as well. Food looks really good and looks delicious, so I'm just gonna dive right in. So for today we have uh, the Caesar salad, so this is a chicken Caesar salad. And right here we have uh, pan fried sear fish with some assorted vegetables and lemon cream sauce. And right here is uh, my mango smoothie. So food is amazing and I just tried the salad and it's so delicious. I mean, right in the salad itself, you've got your protein and all the carbs covered as well. So this basically is a good post-workout meal. So um, I've ordered the mango smoothie right here. So usually this has a little bit of sugar, but then again, it's all right. For, well, if you're out of a hard workout, you know, it's all right to have a little bit of sugar and get your energy levels up. So right now I'm gonna try the pan fried sear fish. So let me just swap it up. So right here you can see that this is high in protein. Yeah, so you have uh, the veggies, the carbs and the protein all inclusive, fibers, got it all here. So let me just you know dig in and see how this tastes like. So the food tastes amazing, you know. The the fish itself is juicy and tender and the flavors of this go really well. So you can really feel the the flavor of the fish with when you mix it up with the lemon sauce. So you can see the flavors mingling in. It's really tasty, really good. And the Caesar salad itself, the chicken, the bacon, it tastes so good. So all in all, I believe that this entire meal is a balanced post-workout meal. So it basically covers everything with protein, to your carbs, you know, to fibers, everything is covered here in this one meal. So all in all, amazing food. And the smoothie right here tastes so good as well. So this basically today I'm having a mango smoothie and it's really energized me. And right here, I'm right now in Mi Colombo, so like I said, this place is basically, this place has an amazing ambience and the food tastes good and one of the most preferred places for me to come and, you know, enjoy a good first workout meal and also a good recovery as well. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I would like to thank Hi TV, My Fit Life, for having me on their show. And I would also like to thank my club, Havelock Sports Club, for the grounds and the gym. And also a very special thank you to me, Colombo, for having me here and for the delicious and good food they served me here for today. Super friendly staff, really nice ambience, and always good vibes at me, Colombo. So thank you very much. Stay safe guys and we'll see you soon.